with a wet but um, a happy Daryl Clark. What's your feelings after that win today? I don't go that far. Uh, listen, for, for me, it was pleasing. It was all about the points today, but we still we still got to improve for me. Both areas, we've we've uh, conceded two goals when they've had four shots on target, and certainly not scored enough and been critical enough. And we make things hard work for ourselves, which is which is frustrating. But uh, I'm sure when I've calmed down a little bit, I'd be uh, be pleased with the three points. So even after a victory, you see the pluses and the minuses. Well, you got to, haven't you? That's 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 football, isn't it? It's football management. Uh, you're always striving for perfection, but you never get it. But testament to the lads as well. Character, 1-0 down at home. Bad run of form just lately. To come back and, and wins, uh, obviously crucial for, for a small stepping stone, really. So it puts us back in the top ten. Is the most important thing is just returning to winning ways today? It is. It always is when you're on a bad run. Obviously, we had a lot of disappointment around the place last Sunday. I do think sometimes, and obviously we were, we were embarrassed, but you know, Barrett, give Barrow credit. But uh, it's another, another game for me, even though I thought we weren't great last week, we should have won. But it's, a, it's about the response then and credit to the fans, they got they got right behind the lads even at 1-0 down and and could see really we've missed two one-on-ones, you know, Taylor's got a slot is in, Gaffney's got a slot is in and then all of a sudden they score with their first attack and he's thinking, well, it's backs against the wall again, I thought it was going to be another one of those days but uh, fortunate for us we've, uh, we've capitalised. Talk to me about um, just Will Paddy. First of all, the decision to play him today, and B, how do you assess his performance? Uh, I probably should have done it earlier. Actually, I think Kel is a, is, a, is a young keeper. Started his loan period very well for us, but it's cost me six, seven points. It's a fact. He's got to bounce back from that. He's got to improve on his decision making. Nobody's guaranteed a start here. And we'll work on his mindset a little bit now, and uh, and make sure that he, he, he try and gets back to producing the performances when he first comes to the club. But uh, for me. Them fine lines of winning football games and, and, and keepers have to be sometimes the match winner or make a save or two. And he hasn't, for me, pr- pr- been producing that. It might sound a bit harsh, but that's football. We're all areas of the pitch we want to improve on. It's not just Cal. Our defending, making sure that we, you know, we're limiting teams to four or five attempts on goal, on target, and we're still conceding two, three goals. So it's a, it's a massive area of the pitch we've got to work on. And, and not when we're dominating games for me, which we have done for the majority of this season. Barring probably the Millwall and Charlton game, we haven't been ruthless enough. So, so we just keep working and driving and working hard to keep keep performing. Is it unfair on Will to say he'll be looking for a new keeper in January? Does he have a chance to stay in December? Listen, the, the way I work is Pud's got an opportunity now to come in and, and stake his claim. However, everybody's on their toes. The players know where I stand. They know There won't be no let up to take this club. But what I will say is, and this is very important, OK, Let's, let's get one or two things right, OK? Last season, we had a mid-table budget. We got promotion. This season, we're probably, at the minute, we're going to improve in January. I've always been given the go-ahead for that. We're a bottom eight budget, OK? These boys are doing fantastic. And these boys deserve the support they're getting. And we're getting fantastic support of our fans. So let's not forget things. Let's, let's sometimes... I have to do it myself, really, because I'm a high-demanding manager, and I always will be. But I need people to realise as well is, is that's, what's, that's what's happened over the couple of years, and they're facts. People don't like facts. They think Bristol Rovers well supported. They're the facts of the place. We're going to keep striving. Owners have been coming and been fantastic. I'm going to get their full support if I need to strengthen and when I strengthen in January. And we want to keep the spirit around the club. And sometimes this place with bad runs, wow, it's low. It's very low. But players don't become rubbish overnight. And we've got to respond and use today as a bit of a building block. So come January, you won't be making record signings. You want to be careful with the what cash. Well, I'm always spending. careful with. Listen, I'm not saying I'm not saying for one minute that I couldn't, you know, strengthen more in the summer. But we're a, we're a club that's I think we're a point off the playoffs now. We've got great momentum. The the home form. I got my stat analyst to work it out. We're the fourth best home record in 2016 in the league. There's not ma- massive changes. Yeah, there's areas we've got to improve on and, and, and what not. I want to keep improving as a manager. I don't always make the right decisions, but we've got to use today as a bit of a small building block to try and get ourselves on a back run. One thing that we have done over the last couple of years is, is to be able to bounce back. And for me, the response to the players today, albeit not perfection, albeit the character was great. Well played today. Thank, Thank you. you.